Welcome back to London Beautiful Life. I'm Rachel Roberts and tonight we're in Leicester Square at Rise of the Foot Soldiers Extended Edition and for their new mobile game. I can't believe it's been 20 years since their first viewing, so what can we expect from tonight? Um, well, they've extended and remastered it, so it's a, it's a new version. Um, and um, I think people that haven't seen it are going to be in for a treat. And obviously it co, 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 co collides with the launch of the computer game, Foot Soldier computer game. So that comes out um, today, it come out today on iOS and Android. So that's done, you know, I mean, it's already in the top five. So it's do, do, lots of people are downloading it and playing it, which is good. Yeah, I was just going to ask you about that. So can you tell us a little bit about it? What can we expect to respect from the game? Um, well, I just think if you're bored and, um, you know, you're on a train or on a plane or on a bus, or, or you, you know, you're at home. It's just a great thing to download and play. You know, it's fun. So, and it takes you back to those, um, like Streets of Rage type games in the late eighties, early nineties. Obviously, you've done the Traitors. So, what was that like filming, and what was the process like? It was absolutely brutal. Um, it took its toll on me in many ways, uh, psychological. I think I went through every single emotion you can physically go through, um, and there was nothing we could really relate to. There was nothing out there before, so we were like the guinea pigs. So yeah, I wouldn't change it. It was a great, great experience, um, but I certainly wouldn't do it again. You wouldn't. What was the toughest bit for you? Uh, it was turning on or trying to backstab people or calling out people that you actually like. I think what they didn't compensate for or or predict is actually liking people. I think next season it bring out a lot of people that are prepared to do anything. Rachel, to be fair, um, we were like I like someone. And I think I'm, when you are at a certain stage in life, I think it it, it took its toll me to back someone and money only lasts so long I think how you act in integrity lasts for a long time so I struggled in a lot of different ways to, to um to sort of play that game it was quite quite uh, grueling to be honest yeah and do you get as paranoid no not at all I never ever that show opened up a part of my brain I never knew existed um, I really struggled um, emotionally morally and I just thought I always knew the line like you can win money but at what cost so there's a thin line between the two rates right, to be fair so um, I was happy of how it ended for me um, and yeah uh, didn't win but you win in other ways didn't you you do you yeah. do so you've been on um, I'm a celebrity in the past so how did you find that well it was exhausting and terrifying because I did every trial practically it was horrendous it was horrendous I can't even explain how bad it was <laughs> I know I know what was your worst trial uh, the worst trial was when I was burned Buried under the ground in a coffin, the lid shut, chained up with rats and water coming pouring in. And ugh. I don't. I, I personally, I couldn't. So I understand. I just remember screaming my head off, screaming and screaming. And I think there were snakes there too. I can't remember exactly. It was all a blur. Yeah. And Dr. Bob rescuing me. Are you looking forward to tonight? Yes, you know, I, I mean, to be honest with you, I mean, I'm a, I, I'm a friend of Andy from Carnaby Films, and I think it's brilliant what he does. I did a little bit on the last, um, on the film last year. I mean, there's so many, I can't even remember the names of them anymore. Do you know what I mean? But I what he's up. done is, it's become such a franchise, and people just love it. I mean, look at this. I, there, I've never seen so many people at a night like this. And, I know, very busy. And I think it's really good that he's creating all this work for kind of young working class actors. Well. All, all different age working class actors and also to go into gaming is very clever yes it is it's very clever it's very entrepreneurial and I think he's created a real kind of niche for himself hasn't he you know it's definitely it's, it's definitely everyone knows the foot soldier whether you like them or not they're there yeah, and you it's know got, and it's got a massive market recently you've been doing you've done live at the Apollo live, yeah. which was great I have watched I have watched so what else have you got coming up this year have you got anything to look forward to yes yeah, so I'm I'm, I'm on tour now this year, so I'm doing a UK tour. Um, so the tickets have tickets have been on sale for a little while, actually, for about a month now, um, and that's up and down the country, pretty much everywhere. So a lot of travelling. Oh, there's a, there's a lot of travelling, but doing your own show is a lot of fun. So that that's that's the main thing that's happening this year. Um, I'm that there's I'm going to be on TV a little bit more. So they've got the the Apprentice. I'm doing the talk show for that in a couple of weeks. I'm going to be doing QI. Um, Alan Davies has yet on title. So there's a few that we've been filming. So it's started to really, really step up now. And what do you expect from tonight, from the film and stuff? Um, I'm, I don't know what to expect, to be honest with you. I've seen the previous ones. They're fantastic. I just want to meet Tony Tucker. He's running around here, but he doesn't have orange hair. Normally he's got like orange curly hair. 
He's just got like, I don't know, he just looked like a standard dude. But I love Tony Tucker, so I'm going to try and wind him up, see if he hit me. Have you got any um, songs coming out? Yep, I have hopefully got some new songs coming out. I'm always writing new music, I'm always composing, um, and it's a real passion of mine. And I, I'm, I'm going to be releasing more sort of singing-based stuff, so hopefully you'll be seeing Honey G like you've never seen her before. No, that's good, that's what we want to see. And will these songs be coming out this year? I hope so. In the next few months? I hope so. I hope so, yes. So what have you got coming up this year? I hear a podcast. That's right. So this year my mum and I are launching a podcast and we've got some big names. So And when does it launch? Are you allowed to say? It's going to launch in May. In May. May. Oh, so we've got a lot to work towards for, for May. Lovely. And um, who have you got coming on? Are you allowed to tell us? <laughs> Mum says no. I was about to reveal. <laughs> yeah, but you're, you're going to be annoyed at me if I reveal. I can't reveal. Them. You can you can reveal. <laughs> you won't say anything. Someone from a big show. <laughs> a big show coming on. Okay, we will wait to see the reveal. But how exciting that you're doing that together and that's such a lovely thing to do. We always wanted to do something together. And so this is now finally the time. My mum and I are best. We love going out together, doing everything together. We do a lot together. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Too much. Too much. <laughs> what have you got coming up this year? Oh, we've got a very exciting year coming up. We've just launched our brand new show, This Interview will Self Destruct. So uh, we've just shot uh, our last episode last week. Go on, a little exclusive. I haven't said this publicly. We just shot an episode last week with Tyson Fury, who will be the next guest on our show. Uh, so, yeah, in 23, we're focusing on building out the show, getting even bigger and even better guests on. Um, and continuing to grow it. Wow, Tyson Fury, I love love that, love that. Um, what was it like meeting Charlie's Emilio? <laughs> Charlie's awesome. Uh, got to build up a great relationship with her. Uh, she is an absolute talent. There is there's no mistake that she's in the position she's in today. It's because she's awesome at what she does. She's such a true creative. Uh, the way she organically creates content on socials is inspiring. Um, and yeah, all, all in all, it was just an incredible opportunity to work with her. What are your thoughts on Maya Jama hosting this year's Love Island for the first time? Oh, I'm all for it. I think she's going to be amazing. Like I said, I haven't watched it, but um, I've, I follow her. I watch her podcast and this and that. She is amazing. So I think she's a good candidate for it. Do you think she'll be the best host yet? or I think she'll be different. I think she's very edgy and she's very um, to the point and honest and quite homely as well. So I think people will feel comfortable when she comes into the villa, which I think is really important. Caroline Flack made you feel really comfortable when she came in. So what have you guys got coming up this year? So tell this us a bit year. about Cavus Weekender. So actually it's on tonight, Tuesday night. I'm actually here instead of over there. So tonight, Cavus Weekender is on 10 p.m. Um, buzzing for that. We're halfway through after the, tonight's episode. So that'll be five episodes in. Got five more weeks left. Go catch that. And then what am we doing after that? We've got a lot of stuff on. We've got a lot of stuff on. A lot of events coming up. Um, my own business as well, my online coaching business. That's taken off now, which is nice. And yeah, just a lot of a lot of content creating. A lot of content. Chris, a busy 2023 for you then. What about you, Joe? What have you got coming up? Um, I mean, to be fair, socials have blown up over the last year. So yeah, just this year, I just want to smash the content, get traveling a lot more, go to a lot more places, experience the world, and just get be bigger and better with the content. That's it, really. Lovely. Well, thank you, guys. I hope you have a lovely night and enjoy watching the film for the first time.